Hello, we recently made two videos about the conditions in the biggest cities in the Pacific Northwest here in the USA. And those videos got a lot of views and we got a lot of really good feedbacks because there's a lot of interest in this topic. So I want to continue exploring this topic. This time I'm beginning in Seattle in the South Lake Union neighborhood. And I want to show you a certain area here, which is quite interesting. And you'll see why very quickly. I am very, very close to the branches of Google on my right over here. We see some of the buildings of Google and we see the Paul Allen Institute, who was the early founder of Microsoft. And on this side here, on the left, is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in the back there. However, what you see in front of the foundation here is a whole lot of tents which are full of homeless people. And you see here, this is the Gates Foundation here, the buildings in the back. The Gates Foundation is famous for being charitable, philanthropic, and giving a lot of money and resources all around the world. However, you see the conditions right behind me here, right in front of the Gates Foundation, and the conditions are very, very dreadful. There are so many people who need so much help that are right at the doorstep of Bill Gates, pretty much and yet nothing is being done for these people. It is really shocking to see. This is an institution, this foundation, which gives away billions and billions of dollars, and yet right on the doorstep, nothing is being done. I, I just, I have a really hard time believing how this can be possible, but you're seeing it right here in front of you. So there you have it. These are the conditions right outside of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And you see how there's a huge homeless camp and you have people jogging by, people riding bicycles right by, and Bill Gates doing philanthropy in the back by the billions of dollars. And these people are just being led to live there like this. So it's a very paradoxical situation, in my opinion, to have such a condition right next to each other. And this is really more or less the situation in, in around Seattle. In the previous video, I showed how most of downtown has been cleared as it is trying to return to business. However, the people who were previously there, when they are forced out of these places they were in downtown, they're simply moving now more north or a little more south usually near freeways or big roads and look for places where no one takes ownership and one of those places is right there by the Gates Foundation. So this is uh, very strange to have someone like Bill Gates giving money everywhere in Africa or Asia or Latin America and trying to solve all these crises while there's a crisis on his doorstep literally and nothing is being done about it. This time we're in North Seattle and here I want to show you another pretty shocking situation. Behind me is the Broadview Thompson School which goes from kindergarten to eighth grade and this place has been in the news a lot lately because there's a heated debate and on this side as you see everything looks quite normal. However, if we walk around the school, you'll see what we'll find. I walked around the block from the school, so now I'm kind of on its backside and I'm on the grounds of the Bitter Lake Community Center. So you can see here people playing tennis, quite nice. And there's a lake on this side. So this is actually a pretty nice part of town. Um, here we have a father playing with his child. And the more you keep going though, the more you get closer to the lake and you start seeing that there is not so much perfection here. The school is there in this direction and this whole part is a homeless camp and there are many, many tents here. It's immediately adjacent to a school. In the school there, there are children from kindergarten to the eighth grade and when they come here, their parents put their best hopes and they put them into the school system and their children go and they study adjacent to a homeless camp with all the problems that that invites, um, crime and drug abuse and so on. So 
This is the issue here and very shocking development happened here that there was a vote and the school board voted against clearing the camp. Therefore, they voted to continue letting people's children go to school right next to a homeless camp. And there's been a pretty big outrage from the parents. And we shall see what's happening now because the latest news is that the enrollment rate for this school here is dropping. And there probably will be more considerations what to do about this situation. But the resistance to clearing this area, so for the safety of the children that are both in the school and in this community center, has been quite shocking to people in Seattle. So yeah, if we do a 180 here, we have a baseball field and the tennis courts. We have the lakes. We have here the homeless camp. Behind it is the school. And this building complex here is actually a senior home. So that's the last remaining neighbor here. And there you have it. That, that's what is happening. This is North Seattle on the border, really, of the city limits on the north side. And this is how people live and when they send their children to school or to the park or to the playground, how the conditions are. And so you see, as downtown became empty because of the lockdown, there was an influx of homeless there. And later they got cleared from there. And now they're north or south all around and looking for places where they may occupy and they will not be cleared from there. So it's just an ongoing process where there's no real end game here because there's no real solution and Seattle has not been able to solve this problem and it is a full-blown crisis. Um, people are losing patience especially when it comes down to their children's safety and we have some of the richest people in the city, some of the most successful corporations. We have so many resources, so much technology, so much know-how, and yet nothing is being done to solve this crisis. And people are allowed to live in these conditions and destroy the environment and cause a hazardous environment for children and others. And it really is coming to some kind of tipping point. I don't want to go into what the solution may be. Everyone has their own idea about that. However, the people are pretty upset and the leadership hasn't come forward with anything that can solve this. This was a glimpse of the situation in Seattle. As you can see, while downtown is now cleaner, problems remain around the city. And to me, it actually is very baffling that the city with the wealth uh, like Seattle, with uh, some of the richest people in the world, some of the most powerful corporations in the world can be in such conditions. And I leave it up to you to think whether that is acceptable acceptable and what the reasons for this are and what the solutions are. But do you really think that in a city like this, where the incomes are so high, so much success is here, and there are people that pay so many taxes, if you look at the net balances, nothing is being done successfully that actually helps the situation. It is baffling to me. I've been to something like 30 countries and I've never seen anything like this. And I think it is a shock and I think it needs to be fixed, but um, the city doesn't seem to be able to so far.